Hey guys, it's your old pal Cenable here. And today we're going to talk about obscure mental illnesses. Wow, I bet you have all of them, you neurotic little freak. Little? Benga, have you seen how much I weigh? A joke that both enables the stigma of mental illness and is weightest? Oh my god, this is just what I expected from a degenerate bunny bro like you. Now, if you will excuse me, I need to go to a private wine cave meeting for the Pete Buttigieg campaign to talk about how the poor are all neurotic, violent idiots. The first mental illness we'll be discussing is alien hand syndrome. Alien hand syndrome usually emerges after brain surgery and to a lesser extent trauma, strokes, and tumors. Um, it causes one hand to act normally and just act how you want it to act, but then another hand, it could be right or left, um, just does whatever it wants, just acts however it feels like acting. Sometimes it obeys you, sometimes it doesn't. It basically has a mind of its own, and it's really terrifying. Um, and as it turns out, it's a lot worse than its uh, counterpart, which is alien leg syndrome, which only makes sure you never skip leg day. Hmm. Which board should I visit? Anime and manga? I like anime, but I'll leave that alone. Flash? I don't even know what that means. Video games in general or video games? What's the difference? Retro games? Why even have that board? Why can't it just be like you discuss that on video games? Hmm. Do it yourself? Well, that sounds like some thing some cuck would do. Uh, history and humanities. Nerds. Science and math. Jeez, why are these just a bunch of nerds in the interest section? Hmm. It's leg day. I don't care. Bo, you have alien leg syndrome. It's leg day. Let's get up. Let's get up. I really couldn't care less. Can we just skip it this year? No. No, it's leg day. It's leg day. Okay, fine. We'll do leg day. Works every time. The next mental illness we'll discuss is Stendhal syndrome. Stendhal syndrome is a disorder that causes, and I'm reading this from the script, panic attacks, physical pain, anxiety, disassociation, confusion, and hallucination while viewing art. Wow, I guess you could say that art was shockingly beautiful. The next mental illness we'll be discussing is Cotard delusion, named after its discoverer Jules Cotard. Um, basically, if you have Cotard delusion, you believe you're a zombie. Um, in other news, I think I just found the diagnosis for the emo girl in my English class. The next mental illness is apodomenophilia, and I apologize if I pronounce that wrong. It's basically the overwhelming desire and impulse to cut off a perfectly healthy body part. Yep, we truly do live in a society. Now class, what do you guys want to be when you grow up? Be a singer. I want to be a scientist. I I want to be one of those people with only one arm and say that I lost it in a war when in reality it was just a really weird impulse I had. Um... Yes, Mr. Johnson, your son has been exhibiting some very worrying behavior. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video, and have a nice day.